Hello everyone, <clears throat> this is Joe. I'm inside my tent right now on a uh, partially rainy day. And uh, today I must talk about some more difficult issues. I uh, left on this trip um, to avoid moments of despair and depression which uh, had overcome me. <clears throat> and I left in a bit of a desperation to uh, escape them and uh, they follow me. They certainly have found me today. Um, this is my golden hour show. I am Joe Neely, but I'm not feeling especially golden today. I am doing my best to uh, maintain myself until these feelings pass. Um, I find that fighting against them only makes them stronger. Um, I will do my exercises if um, that feels right. And I will also work with my heartbeat meditation. As I've said in the past, heartbeat meditation is very powerful. It is sometimes the only thing you can do. Listening to your heart and feeling that very basic love, a steady love that says, here is nutrients and oxygen for yourselves. No matter what, I will be there for you. Um, Sometimes tapping into that basic love is um, the very best and all I can do. Um, I know many people turn to meditation and travel <laughs> to deal with what we call depression. Um, I don't know how to define that word other than giving up other than a sense that uh, we're broken and that there's no way to win in life and that it would be better not to endure more hardship that isn't going to pay off. So the word depression, I think, is a euphemism to try to make what's really going on feel a little bit... Mm, less severe to whitewash it as twere I'm looking at my necklace here I might as well describe this uh, these beads are African recycled bottles bottles recycled as beads um, carved I guess maybe even hand carved they are all different sizes um, somewhere in Africa I bought them at the bead store and thought they were rad and this lump of <laughs> metal <laughs> is a uh, meteorite. I think we call it a meteorite when it hits the ground. All of you uh, space nerds can help me out on that one. I don't know the difference between a meteor and a meteorite and a meteoroid. I think there's a meteoroid out there too. But my guess is that we call them meteorites because like bauxite or hematite, that um, ite means a certain type of mineral. And this is certainly a certain type of metal that fell to earth thousands of years ago in South America, I believe. It's part of the Campo meteorite, which I believe is South, not Central America, but I can't remember which. And... I certainly enjoy wearing it around. I've had it with me for hmm, easily six months now, if not longer. And don't really feel that these items have any special magic powers or anything. I'm getting my finger in front of the camera. There we go. <laughs> I don't feel like these are magical items or anything, but I do feel that having something that has fallen from space you know, as we all have, 
to this earth uh, for a brief time is pretty fantastic. So, that's the necklace for anyone who is wondering. Um, I will engage in some heartbeat meditation and see what I can't do with this mood. I will uh, also hmm, come back with you and talk. I've had a thought that just eluded me. Obviously, it's not time to share it yet. Um, but I've had some good thoughts about these times. Ooh, it's coming back. Here's the thought. When we feel this way, it can be a flushing out of old emotions. Uh, the ones that are just going to stagnate in us and make us mediocre. Um, so that can be a positive of flushing out things for good that otherwise would just sit in us and calcify. Slow down the workings of our lives. And it's good to get them out. So perhaps that will happen. Um, I also know that in rough times, new adventures are forged. New adventures are often come for me after a time of depression um, and I move on to greater things so there's a poem by Rumi I assume most of you guys know Rumi the uh, 13th century poet um, who wrote a poem called Bird Wings about how joy and sadness are two wings of a bird that we are that I'm butchering the poem, obviously, <laughs> but the meaning was that you can't have one without the other, and they both keep you aloft um, as the two wings of a bird, and that when you feel sadness and despair, you should rejoice, because you know that the depth of that feeling will be balanced by a depth of joy. So, as I was saying, these times may sometimes lead to uh, wonders, new adventures, new successes. Um, so yeah, flushing out emotions and also, you know, a release, um, and an expectation of joy. Um, I will work on some inner techniques We'll see what happens with the heartbeat meditation or if I arrive at other ones. Um, I have a few that I've kind of been rattling around in my brain that I haven't wrapped words around yet that I may be able to share with you later today. But regardless, I'm here. I'm Joe Neely. This is The Golden Hour. Uh, check me out on joeneely.net slash golden hour. And I'll make the best of it. I hope you do too. Well, one of the uh... okay. Well, one of the other things about laying down to meditate is that it is not that hard to fall asleep. I believe somebody wants to find meditation as simply quieting your mind without falling asleep. That being said, it's a wonderful way to process emotions when you get overwhelmed. Uh, when you're depressed, um, of course, you know, you can always go re-depress yourself the next day or whatever. So be careful with that. You know, it's not a long-term solution, but um, it can leave us feeling better than we did before. Uh, certainly a wonderful coping mechanism that is free, um, drug-free, and uh, almost completely harmless. So, I feel good. I feel my brain and body working on itself. And, uh, hmm, feel better. So, <laughs> when you are working on your emotions internally, um, 
maybe give that a chance to happen. Maybe lie down and focus on your breathing, focus on your heartbeat. And uh, set an alarm, of course, you know, if you've got stuff to do. But otherwise, give yourself a chance to drift off and come back. Um, that being said, I do know that in some of my deepest depressions, I've had trouble getting to sleep. And those can become very difficult because I don't have the uh, easy escape pressing the reset button. That's my finger. I'm pressing the reset button. Uh, you don't always have that reset button of sleep. That's what I'm trying to say. But most of the time, you can uh, scrape aside some time to uh, meditate. And if you need to sleep, let that happen. Um, I will keep you guys posted in the next few days to see what comes, see what... Techniques I use with this, who knows? It may be gone now. It may go away after more sleep in the morning. It may be with me for a while. I don't know. Um, regardless, it's something a lot of people work on. And uh, go online, Google it. There is certainly a lot of advice out there for meditation, for uh, mental health and depression, emotional well-being, etc., um, I found some wonderful pieces of advice on there, as well as some very early, to me, information about uh, heartbeat meditation. Focusing on that one muscle that loves you no matter what, and will always work incessantly night and day to keep you thriving and aliving. Well, that's a good thing. So... Uh, I guess I stumbled across a piece of good luck, and I don't have as much to share as I might otherwise, but uh, I'll accept my lucky nap, encourage you to try very gently meditating. Uh, if you want to do it while lying down, give that a shot. See what happens. Share your comments on this one, especially because it affects so many people so deeply. Um, any techniques you have that you enjoy, leave them in the comments below or contact us, us, me and my computer, <laughs> contact me at uh, jodielee.net slash golden hour. And uh, us, we, the whole community, will uh, gather together around uh, people who are looking for healthier way um, you know we can all share our horror stories of what's made us depressed or what's uh, happened in the past to make us vulnerable to uh, moods but what I'd like to create as a conversation with all of you is not just a sharing of stories and all of that, but a sharing of techniques, a sharing of empowerment, of things we can do to make our lives better right now. That's what I want to create, not let's all complain to each other. That's not really my style. So uh, please contribute um, ideas if you have them or ask for for help if you need it. Um, that I highly encourage. And uh, we'll all find ways to take care of ourselves and each other, uh, no matter what comes up. So, I love you all. This is the Golden Hour with Joni Lee. Have a wonderful night.